switching back to the blue jersey this season. Colours that are probably best associated with Limerick football. They have been sporting the red colours since their inception in the league in 2021, but they've gone back to blue now. Treaty United. Trying to get his foot on the ball here is Lee Lynch, and that's a really good ball in behind for Ender Curran. Can't repeat his usual trick, though. Shot off target, but that was a good ball through from Lee Lynch and sent off in that recent heavy derby defeat against Athlone. And uh, he was lucky not to receive his marching orders again there as Lee Devitt now advances into a good position here for Treaty. Devitt goes down under challenge from Sir Denny York. Sir Denny York goes for it again. Healy feeds it to Ender Curran. He's done it yet again against his former club. What a strike from Ender Curran. 1-0. Yeah. Halwick's here. He's got a lot of traffic in front of him. The six-yard box is absolutely flooded with blue shirts. As Lynch gets ready to take the corner. And this might be one off the trainer ground. Looking for Ender Curran. Goes down in the penalty area. And the referee is pointed to the spot. Big, big decision there. We might have a replay of it here. But it's, it's very good from Ender Curran. Curran against Halwax. As the Galwegian looks for a brace on the night. Curran, bottom corner, 2-0 treaty. Yeah, fantastic finish there from the spot. Keeper had no chance. Good power right in the corner. Treaty from, and then he scores from the spot. So, Longford Town, that old Achilles heel, they just can't seem to shake it off. They cannot defend set pieces at the moment. Yeah, and teams, teams coming to here will know that yeah. and from the goals we've conceded so far this year they'll know that and that's something that they've targeted and obviously there you can see it from Treaty they've they've done a, a training ground set piece from the corner and it's it's paid off for them you know I think a lot of them are planning for next season already Kieran. <laughs> I think it's uh, the sooner this season can be wrapped up from a Longford perspective because we haven't had much to cheer about Birdie half turns into trouble Still manages to find his way past Deva. Finds his way past Healy as well. Has a shot. Good positive play from Budiaf. Almost returns a reward, but it does just flash wide of that near post in the end. Touch from Fionn Doherty. Throw into Longford. Really need to try and put some pressure on this Treaty United defence just to stem Treaty going in the other direction as much as anything. Budiaf, lovely back heel to Campbell. Campbell inside to Adeyemo. That's a really good piece of defending. And a, a scrap is unfolded inside the penalty area. Campbell goes down. Referee sees nothing in it. Adeyemo's down holding his ankle now as well. Budiaf misplaced pass. Healy goes down, but I think that was out of the end of current book. Here he, in time and space, tries to curl one in behind for Adeyemo. Adeyemo first time, what a save. Gets the rebound and Lumford out of nowhere back in this game. Room and Treat United could break here. Lynch, loose touch, but did well to keep it alive. And Ender Curran, he's in a foot race here. And Ender Curran's in with a chance for the hat trick. Oh, what a finish for Ender Curran! Wow, just like that, Longford Town did a free kick no more than 30 seconds ago down the other end. They thought they might be in with a chance of making a 2 2. Out to Dean O'Shea. O'Shea to Kyle O'Connor. Nice play out from the back from Longford Town. Can they make this stick now in the treaty final third? O'Connor still has it. Stuck under his feet a little bit, plays it in behind to Wickstead. He's broken the offside trap. Good cut back from Wickstead, but couldn't find a red and black jersey. Better player though from Lumford, one of their better passages. They're just telling them to keep clued in because they feel that maybe there's still something in this game for them. Look at that for a first time pass from Enda Curran. Doherty with the cross. Devitt with the header. 4 1 treaty. Easy as that. Just as I was saying, there could have been something in this game for Longford. I think that's all, definitely all she wrote. AM kick off that one, I think. But all that drama will be played out here live on LOI TV between now and the end of the season. So if you haven't already got that season pass, make sure you get signed up for a thrilling end to the season. Longford Town looking to add some excitement to this game with that shot from Bash and Heary. Chambers took no chances. I think it might... Derry and Shells both dropping points. Rovers, they won't give up hope just yet. They play a it tomorrow live on LOI TV. 7 o'clock kickoff for that one. We've also got Pat's Galway tomorrow uh, up in Galway. It's Campbell. Breaks into the area. Campbell! Oh! Header at the back post from Daniel Norris. Difficult effort to control. There was so much. As I say, that they do have the ball in the Longford Town half. Yo yo, Maddie. Christopher 
Christopher allowed to turn and allowed to pick out Tarmi inside. Tarmi takes it down and Tarmi's put it wide. But that was so, so easy. How is that not 5-1? Previous seasons have been well able to compete with and you just see a passage of play like that where again there's three or four players yeah. and they're all passing the responsibility onto each other and nobody's taking a hold of it. That easily could have been five. But yeah. Longford, can they get back on the score sheet here? Unfortunately not. Daniel Norris, he's probably entitled to take that on. He, he has been lively yeah, off the well. bench. But I agree with you there, Kieran. Like, yeah, it's probably the fact that, like, you know, get yourself into getting a book and that might rule you out later on in more another game if they accumulate the and they have totted up the cars this season themselves and Kerry are right down towards the, the bottom of the of the discipline table this season where are we in that table <laughs> no words he signed for the dock recently putting a, po a couple of really good performances for them over the last while including the Brandywell last night I'm sure we'll see him back here one day Chambers Looking to put a bit of shine on the scoreboard for Longford now. Dean O'Shea, great shot keeper with another massive save. Not the first time we've said that this season about Corey Chambers.